on my computer I have got two external hard drives and in one of the external hard drives I got a lot of photos and videos and when I want to play the video it doesn't work because the data transfer rate is very slow and it just doesn't play well or if I would copy a file from this external hard drive and paste it to my C drive the speed is so slow as you can see it is less than 1 megabytes per second and that's the reason why I can't play the video directly from my external drive so after copying if I play it it works without any issues another reason is that my C drive's hard disk is SSD drive which is the fastest drive you could have so how can we improve the data transfer rate of our external hard drive first go to the start right click there and then select this device manager here simply select disk drivers expand it and then select the external hard drive that's slow and then right click on it click on properties then go to the policies tab and here you can see the default removal policy and the default is set as quick removal quick removal means you could just remove the USB from your computer without the need to select safely remove hard drive what I mean is if you go here and then click and then right click here and then eject expansion disk that's how you do safely removal hard drive but because of our removal policy is quick removal we don't really need to do that but that affects the speed of your hard drive to improve the performance you need to select better performance but when selecting this I can't emphasize enough that you need to use this option to safely remove it as you can see it says safely remove hardware and eject media it's very important now that you have selected better performance to use this option then it gives you additional options here as well but it's important to enable write caching on the device but there are risks with doing so as you can read in here again it gives you a more detailed explanation that for example if the power failure occurs and if it's not externally powered it could cause data loss don't select this option if you're worried about data loss then click on ok and it says in order for the effects to take place we need to restart the computer so close everything after closing all your folders and files you can click on yes restart so the computer is restarted now come back to the same folder and if I double click to play the same video you can see it plays without any problems it works smoothly if I close it now right click click on copy go to the same folder It's exactly the same file change the number and now paste here it just happened in one second did you see that so it was a small folder let's go and try with a bigger size file so that we could see the speed so I copy this one go back here right click paste wow it was around 30 megabytes per second so we have dramatically improved the speed of data transfer and now if you go back to the start right click and then click on device manager and then click on disk drives then select the disk drive that you have changed the policy right click click on properties go to policies and revert back from better performance to quick removal and then click on ok and restart your computer then after restarting your computer if you go back to that same folder and play the same video it will still work well as you can see and if I try to copy the same file it is still fast even though we have disabled the better performance but because we have already enabled it once and it have 
written some caching on the device and now that we changed it back to quick removal just so that we will be on the safe side that we would not risk losing any data it still maintained the high speed data transfer so that's a good trick to know if this still didn't help you then click on the start and type in partition then you should see a option called create and format hard disk partitions and here it will show you the different drives file system and make sure your file systems are set to NTFS and not FAT32 because NTFS is a new file system format that Windows uses and is much faster however to change to NTFS from FAT32 you would need to format your hard drive obviously you need to back up all your data into another drive and then format and then you could change the file system and lastly if you right click on the start again click on device manager just make sure that all your drivers for universal serial bus controllers are up to date to update them right click on them and just click on update drivers and search automatically and most of them by default should be updated anyways if for some reason your hard drive is not detected what you need to do is to obviously unplug your USB from your computer then after unplugging the USB from your computer then unplug the power on your hard drive and then wait for 10 seconds then put the power back on the hard drive and then put the USB cable back to your computer and now your computer should detect your external hard drive again I hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel I hope to see you in my next video bye bye